This is Chicago's O'Hare Airport, and these are the insane eight runways of this airport. For comparison, this one airport has the combined runway numbers of Austin, Portland, and Seattle. And towards Europe, Chicago O'Hare alone has more runways than five of London's airports combined. Now, it's not the busiest airport in the world. That title goes to Atlanta. But it sure is among the busiest. Atlanta, being at the top, has five runways. And there are other big airports like Dubai or London which operate on just two, which seems ridiculous after hearing Chicago's eight, but actually, they work just fine. So, why Chicago is the only one to have eight runways when busier airports like Atlanta can operate on five? Well, Chicago has had several runways for the longest time. Even in the 80s, Chicago had seven runways. At the time, they built many runways because of Chicago's varying weather and wind conditions. So, they needed to have multiple runways whose headings faced the directions of whatever the wind conditions might be for that particular day. And they were easily able to do that because the airport was outside the main city, so plenty of land was available. Fast forward a few years and traffic rose to such a level that the old configuration could not handle the volume without significant delays, especially in inclement weather, which Chicago is famous for. This was because all but one runway intersected each other, so there could only be three runways operating at once, which was not helping at all. So, considering the vast amount of air traffic at Chicago, airport authorities decided to reconfigure the runways to be more aligned to efficiently handle current traffic and to allow for future growth. Chicago's air traffic was pretty huge, so they needed to keep a large number of runways, and because modern aircraft can handle more various weather conditions, they didn't need multiple runways at different headings. So, they designed the configuration aligning to the most common prevailing winds, which included six parallel runways and two runways from the old configuration for crosswinds. Now, the air traffic was high for Chicago Airport, but the passenger number was not high enough to build eight runways. In fact, airports with a much smaller number of runways have been serving more passengers than Chicago. That's because how big an airport is, or how many runways it has, is not always because of passenger numbers. The aircraft movement is the major factor to consider. The passenger number just affects the terminal size. For example, in 2019, Dubai Airport served more passengers than Chicago, and with the fact that Dubai has two runways, it might seem impossible. But when you compare how many actual planes landed and took off, it makes much more sense. Even though Chicago was behind in passenger numbers, it had more than double planes land and take off than Dubai. And it was certainly because of the type of traffic and aircraft Chicago deals with. What it means is that Chicago mostly sees domestic and regional traffic, which is carried by smaller planes, like Boeing 737s or Mitsubishi CRJs. In Dubai's case, it's an international hub and also the base for Emirates, which operates on a larger aircraft fleet. So mostly, Dubai sees wide-body aircraft movements, which reduce the number of total aircraft movements as wide-body aircraft can accommodate a larger number of people. In other words, Dubai Airport usually sees majority of wide bodies because it has almost all international routes and its base airline Emirates only operates wide body. That's the reason why Dubai offers more airplane seats than Chicago, but has a lower number of departures and arrivals. To make things clear, let's compare landing in Chicago versus landing in Dubai. So let's say if an Airbus A380 lands at Dubai, which Emirates flies almost 70 every day, in Chicago, it will equal to three Boeing 737 Maxes, as an Emirates A380 carries 500-something passengers and a 737 Max can carry 160. And if you take a smaller aircraft like the Mitsubishi CRJ, which is also quite popular at Chicago, the number is even wilder, with 10 of those equaling one A380. These statistics are proof of why Chicago has one of the lowest number of average passengers per aircraft movement, which is 85 here and 190 in Dubai. This is the reason why airports like Dubai are still able to work with two runways, while airports like Atlanta are packed even with five, and this is the same reason why Chicago needs a higher number of runways than any other airport. In fact, 
U.S. airports in general need more runways than other airports simply because they just have too many domestic flights in the country. And that's the reason why all the top three airports with the most runways are from America. More runways means you can do multiple simultaneous landings and takeoffs, which increases the capacity to get that many planes in and out. And in Chicago's case, the weather is not so stable, so runway closures are normal. And during those adverse weather conditions, the availability of multiple runways allows air traffic controllers to optimize runway usage, mitigating delays, and improving overall efficiency. But the interesting part is that having eight runways for Chicago is kind of same as having five. That's because they don't use all runways at once. Just like Atlanta, they usually operate five at once, and those five could be chosen according to wind direction or efficiency or certain airport plans. In Atlanta, they only have five, so they max out. But in Chicago's case, they could use more than five at once if they wish, but usually there's never enough traffic, and five runways seem to be working well at peak hours. So do they even need eight runways? Well, I'd say seven runways would be good enough for Chicago. However, technically they still have seven because they cannot use one of the runways as it intersects the other two. And this runway is very rarely used until and unless in extreme wind conditions, which are very, very rare. Even if there were five runways, Chicago would do okay, but in those peak minutes of traffic, it would be stressful as there wouldn't be any runway to switch if a runway closure occurs, and also there wouldn't be an extra runway to switch in case of severe wind conditions. So Chicago O'Hare could function with fewer runways, but the extra runways provide operational flexibility, enhance safety measures, and cater to potential future demands, which contributes to the airport's overall efficiency and adaptability. As of now, in its current state, Chicago O'Hare is well equipped to cater to the next generation of travelers, and hence will be one day using all its seven runways at once, taking aviation to the next level.